How's everyone doing? It is that time of year, regular season's over, but it is now what some consider to be the best time of the year, bowl season, where there are 40 games ranging from the Cotton Bowl, the Orange Bowl, the Rose Bowl, all the way down to the Idaho Potato, Potato bowl. bowl. John Stamos. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Cheese it bowl. The cheese it bowl. The Duke's mayonnaise bowl. And don't forget the new tropical smoothie cafe bowl. But we love all bowl games because this is a time to celebrate these teams' hard work. It's a really cool opportunity when you think about it. It's cool that these bowl games are still around and they are very much still important. Even in the current climate of today's college football right now, I've got a lot of star players opting out for the NFL yeah. draft and it's, it's a different time, yeah. different age, but but see that's one that's one perk about these smaller bowl games. Like a lot of these guys aren't sitting out. Next man up mentality. This is this is their championship. It's just cool to see some of these lower bowl games, lower tier bowl games. I don't even want to say that, it's kind of harsh, but just some of your not well-recognized bowl games, like the one we're heading to now, the Myrtle Beach Bowl, presented <laughs> by Tax Act. This is a still very new bowl game, it's second year. It's the second ever Myrtle Beach Bowl. Yeah, played in a stadium, a venue we are very familiar with on this channel, Brooks Stadium. AKA the Baja Blast of college football stadiums. Yep. We just couldn't get away from it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, and for this game, instead of the home section, we're going to be sitting in the away section. So It's much colder now. Yeah. It was like 90 degrees the first game. Today, the, high, the highest temperature is going to be 50 degrees. Never would have thought I would bundle up in Myrtle Beach. So here we are. With this new bowl series, giving you guys a look into what these bowl games are like, what kind of experience you'll get from them, because it's different year to year, but it's still just a good way to look into if your team gets a bid to one of these, if you should make the long trip for it, because you're gonna wanna go and check out the destination, the city as well. So that's what we're gonna really try to aim to do with this mini series. So with bowl games and the bowl season starting, it's gonna be a little bit different layout in how we quote unquote grade things. You know, instead of grading it specifically by the stadium or specifically grading it by like the overall atmosphere and the traditional grading scale that we have, we're just giving it a clean slate and we're gonna reevaluate the whole entire process by just giving you just a simple answer. Is this game worth going to? Is this in a great city? Like, is this in a great location? Like, long story short, it's just a game whether to go to or not. You can kind of think of it in three main points. The venue, the bowl festivities that they do, and then... destination. That'll be our main talking points. No one really gets a good look into what it looks like to go to one of these games unless yeah. you go yourself. So we're going to try to give you that inside view and experience of it. So we look forward to it. This matchup, well, we're very familiar, oh, with, yeah. very familiar with this other team that we watched earlier in the season. You might be familiar with the Old Dominion Monarchs. And for today's matchup in the second annual Myrtle Beach Bowl is going to be between the Old Dominion Monarchs versus the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. We have a Conference USA versus an American matchup. ODU will be moving to the Sun Belt very soon though. We're having a repeat team in a repeat stadium. And I gotta say props to ODU because when we watched them against Wake Forest, it didn't really look like a bowl caliber team. So for them to be able to really grind out those six wins, good for them. I think Tulsa wins this game easily. I'd say Tulsa's gonna win 31 to 17. Yeah, I'm not very familiar with either one of these teams other than Old Dominion getting the brakes knocked out of by Wake Forest. You know, since it's a bowl game, not really a lot to expect here, but hey, that I always is, like to yeah. expect the unexpected as well. One thing so. you see with these bowl games is a lot of times one team just does not show up. A lot of times these upsets will happen and are pretty yeah. common. So I think the final score, uh, Tulsa is going to pull it off 35. Old Dominion, 13. So we look forward to the game. We look forward to having you along with us at the Myrtle Beach Bowl presented by Tax. And once again, Brooks Stadium. We'll see you soon. Let's go bowling. Yeah. Alright, so if you're not familiar with Myrtle Beach, or have never 
taking a vacation, any highway going in, you're gonna be seeing all kinds of these pirate voyage signs everywhere. Yeah, I don't think anyone has ever spent as much money in billboard advertising the pirate's voyage. We saw at least like eight of Well, when they said Myrtle Beach Bowl, we didn't know that it was gonna be an actual bowling alley right there. It's actually where they're gonna play today, so. It's already a good pro for this bowl game and setup. They still run Coastal's shuttle services. Uh, yeah, they're our favorite shuttles. By far. Kind of New Orleans-esque trolley looking shuttles. They just drive off. <laughs> Spider-Man. Stop the ball! <laughs> Stop the ball! <laughs> Take pictures of today's game or next year's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you take care. Hey, you or the shot to clear. That's a pretty good looking shot to clear if I ever saw one. Yeah, so the cool thing is we get to we get to see it from the highway side point of view. So. We weren't lying. 
We, it's literally a highway from here. A uh, different view for Brooks Stadium. Yeah. It's just the sudden urge to hop this fence and go streaking, but <laughs> my mind is just telling me no, but my body is telling me yes. So I do want to give a shout out to the ODU Monarch fan base because they packed the whole bottom row. They made like a five hour trip. I think, what that guy say, five hour it was a drive. Long drive. Tulsa, we didn't expect them to come all the way from Oklahoma, but. They drove five hours, but we drove 10 hours to Indiana State, so. Yeah, I keep forgetting what I'm gonna say. <laughs> All right, so we got back to the car, and the official temperature outside is 48 degrees in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It has to be cold. When I pictured the Myrtle Beach Bowl, I pictured it nice, warm, and sunny. Well, not nice, but warm and sunny. Boy, was I wrong. All right, speak to me. What do you want me to say, Daddy? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. You want, you want me to talk like this? <laughs> Welcome back. Yep. Good to see you there. Just uh, concluded the second annual Myrtle Beach Bowl, which in fact was not even in Myrtle Beach, but in fact in our previous video, which you should check out, which is the Coastal Carolina video, it's actually in Conway, South Carolina, so very big misleading information right there. But still, it didn't really feel like the Myrtle Beach Bowl. It felt like the Coastal Carolina Bowl. We'll go over a few things just to start things off. One, my score prediction was just one point off. Yeah. So that's like the best score prediction I've ever had. Yeah, Final yeah. score, I predict. Well, I predicted 31-17 in yeah. favor of Tulsa, and it was 30 to 17. So yeah. Just one. That point was away. The best prediction so far this season. Do want to give a shout out to ODU's fans? Oh yeah. This was we didn't realize this. This was their first ever bowl appearance. So they traveled yeah. in full force. They made the. I think it was around five hour road trip. One fellow said. Yeah. So they traveled and they packed the whole lower section of the visitor side we were on. It was very impressive. Which, good for them. And they were loud. They were excited. They were what really made this game feel yeah. like a bowl game. I yeah. heard one fan screaming like, do what got you here in the first place. Oh, yeah, I, a, lot I felt, of, a lot of that. I felt that. They worked their tails off to get through this bowl game and seeing them play against Wake Forest, you know, I could tell they, they had a little yeah. bit of heart in them. So what can you say about it? What's the first thing that comes in the mind? We need to shut that door. Just like Tulsa shut the door on ODU. One, gotta say that it was nice being familiar with the venue. Going to that game back in September was very helpful. We knew where exactly to park, how the shuttles would be, kind of where they'd run. It's good for Coastal Carolina, making everything very easy, running the shuttles. But yeah, we, we noticed on the way in, and we kind of figured that not many Tulsa fans would be making the trip from the Midwest to Myrtle Beach. So it was very much an ODU kind of home field game. Game, even though they were technically the, the visiting visiting team, uh, we did have to walk all the way around to the other side because the main entrance. Yeah. For the mo I think I don't think you can get in, and it would make sense because it is so tight on the other side. Yeah. With the highway being there, that Brook Stadium only has one entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, we probably should have included that in our Brooks yeah. Stadium review, but so Coastal Carolina, you, know, you actually got a little bit lucky. Escaped a little, a little stake right there. A little stadium structure design. But it was cool to be able to see different parts of a stadium we had already seen. I, don't know, I was just disappointed when I looked on the field, and it was just such a just kind of weak attempt at specializing the field for this bowl game. Oh yeah. So like you, you look at. A similar bowl like the Idaho Potato Bowl with Boise State. Yeah, they do keep their logo on the field and the end zone is the same, but they at least put big bright yellow squares with like the Idaho Potato yeah. on the 25 yard line, whatever yard market that is. This game, they just put a plain, very bland white stencil of the Myrtle Beach Bowl badge on there and like at some points it looks so faded and you can barely yeah. see it the branding on this was kind of lackluster i mean the only kind of branding that you saw was on the home side of the stadium and you only saw this myrtle beach bowl banner a little bit of the banners on the lower sides of the visitor side and and then um, the end zone 
Yeah, with it, the stands. They had little details like they added it to like the first uh, the first down markers and stuff like that, but nothing like too noticeable or anything. But um, I know you mentioned earlier, but it, you know it kind of just felt like a coastal game instead of like an actual bowl game because you could tell like this being its second annual and its second ever bowl game that maybe they're trying to figure things out on how to organize things and everything. But I, I feel like they had time to think about this, and you know I just didn't think there was an excuse to not market itself. Yeah. better and put more visuals on there and i feel like it's a missed a miss hit by myrtle beach and coastal because you take a bowl game like the idaho potato bowl and just like previous bowl games that like don't take themselves too seriously and they embrace kind of that cheese with it like the potato bowl has a funny trophy does like potato the bowl of potatoes and like yeah. myrtle beach just has a very generic trophy for their bowl game like mm-hmm. they're they trying to make it more prestigious than it is when i just feel like they should embrace the myrtle beach like craziness and the fun that comes with myrtle beach like just put that in to more of the the basic myrtle beach design yeah because they're trying to make it some like really beachy like getaway yeah, like, like don't don't play yourself. No one goes to Myrtle Beach for the beach. They go for Bike Week and Carolina Squat Week and, yeah, and all that. So. Just, yeah. That's what Myrtle Beach is. And I mean, Coastal, the team embraces it. I mean, with their mullets and everything. They should just make the Myrtle Beach trophy just Teddy Gallagher's head. Yes. His, a bust of yes. his face with his mullet. <laughs> that would be That sick. would be awesome. I think everyone that bought admission to the ticket should have got Pit Vipers. Yeah, that would have been, yeah. That would have been pretty sick. I do feel like when I watch them on TV, I always see, like, festivities going on around the stadium. Like, yeah. There's live music or small instrumental bands playing. The stadium really have any of that at all it really just felt like everyone just going in just to watch this game yeah and not really to really celebrate what it was this bowl game yeah as far as like everything around the stadium and what to do like i said it's not in myrtle beach you gotta drive another 20 25 minutes to get to myrtle beach like if you are staying and you get a hotel and you stay for the weekend then there is a lot to do the main strip on myrtle beach has so many attractions from the ferris wheel to the aquarium so like don't forget the yeah. pirates the greatest of all pirates voyage which <laughs> i still don't even know what that place looks like one day we'll go there <laughs> one day we will we promise we'll do that we'll prove debunk if it actually exists or not but <laughs> that could be the, the sponsor for that's the what Myrtle i'm beach saying the, i was thinking the same the thing. pirates voyage myrtle beach bowl <laughs> that needs to be it if you're affiliated with pirates voyage please yeah use this video as evidence you can make the trophy please share this video so we can turn the myrtle beach bowl into the pirates voyage myrtle beach bowl yeah so if we were to conclude this overall experience would we go to this bowl game again what would you think i probably would not but i mean say i was like a georgia southern fan or like some kind of like regional fan i don't know i might would take the trip like if it was odu especially if this was like a first bowl appearance or we were trying to get our first bowl win then i would go just for the history standpoint for the team but if you're like a perennial bowl eligible team i would probably wouldn't i would probably skip skip it watch this one from the the living room unless if it's your team that's actually playing in this bowl game then i would go to it but if you're a bowl fanatic football fanatic or if you're just any type of person that's willing to travel and experience a good college football game um unfortunately i would have to say no (laughs) <laughs> go to Pirate's Voyage <laughs> yeah, instead. Yeah, please go to Pirate's Voyage. Go to the boardwalk yeah. on Myrtle Beach. Shoot, I mean, even go to even go to Truck Week, man. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. So, yeah, we'd both give it probably below average experience. And it is a below average bowl game. So, yeah, it's a pretty lackluster, below average experience. Mm-hmm. There's really no reason to be in Myrtle Beach in the heart of the winter unless you're just going through something and you're very sad. <laughs> so, in conclusion... Myrtle Beach Bowl, maybe next time. Just make some tweaks to it. It's a city and an area with a lot of characters, so just don't be ashamed of who you are. Exactly. So we're going to go try to make it to a couple more of these bowl games. Uh, If you really want to see a more detailed inside look at Brooks Stadium, uh, we'll put the Coastal Carolina video in our description for this one to make it easy. Just check us out, and uh, we appreciate all the continuous support. 
If there's anything that we that we miss on on the stadium or the game or the university in general, uh, feel free to just let us know. Uh, feel free to tell us any interesting facts about what you know or what you've personally experienced about this school and yeah. or stadium. So, uh, yeah, we, we love hearing from y'all. Comment below what you think is the funniest bowl game that you've ever heard of. What's one you maybe want to check out before yeah. you uh, die? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, as usual, if you want to support this channel, please like subscribe and hit those post notifications just comment below let us know where you you want us to go next and as always we will see you next week on game day and on the road this is road team reviews and we're out <laughs>